Hey guys, here's a, just a quick random look at a couple of uh, old fittings. I actually got these uh, uh, from my stepdad. I was going through some of his stuff. He'd been a building engineer for a long time and uh, had a uh, just a lot of random stuff he collected, probably mostly from contractors and stuff like that. He, he didn't very, do very much of this kind of work himself, actually, but he uh, sure had all the tools for it regardless. But um, <laughs> anyway, so uh, just a couple of these were kind of interesting. A couple of them are pretty basic, but uh, like this is nothing special. That's just an access T with a, a quarter inch uh, MPT on one of the on the outlet there. That's just a uh, I don't know if you're using that as a gauge adapter or whatever, but that's nothing special. Uh, these two aren't very special. This is kind of one of the early uh, yellow jacket low loss fittings and the seal right ones. This is probably one of the you know early on when that first became a thing. So that's mildly interesting, I guess. And that's a 100-pound uh, tank adapter. So again, useful. Uh, I, I, these are kind of bulky. I prefer just the ball valves. If I need a little loss fitting, I like just having the ball valve ends, but it's kind of bulky, you know? But uh, the tank adapter is definitely cheaper, so. Um, and this is an old style, I guess, before they had the ball valve, valve core removal tool. This is the same thing, just with a needle valve. It does work. Uh, it's obviously just takes quite a bit longer to crank that crank that handle down versus just doing a quarter turn on the ball valve so I think that's a C and D yeah oh, if the camera in focus yeah, there we go so it's probably you know it's fairly old school and then these are uh, low loss fittings too I believe uh, it kind of took me a minute to figure out what these would be because it's got kind of a quick connect action here and uh, what the heck's that for um, but I'm pretty sure they're designed for you to thread this onto the service port or um, probably would install it normally with it assembled like this. Probably would work either way, but if you could ass definitely assemble it like this, tighten it up, and then the, uh, obviously your gauge hooks up on this end and just threaded these two together. They have kind of a short flare uh, so you hook your hose on the end of there and then uh, when you go to uh, disconnect the hose you pull that lever and you, you pull it and that would just leave this collar threaded on there and then you could just so the, the disconnect action would be really quick um, that wouldn't make it a low loss fitting though necessary oh yeah because it probably this probably checks internally if I had to guess so, yeah it is uh, so again, I think that was probably one of the earlier low loss fitting ideas, but it's kind of unique. So, uh, you know, again, I have other ways of doing that. I got the valve core depressors, you know, those little right angle things. I got the, the ball valves. I have a couple of these kind of seal right fittings. So these are just kind of redundant, but I just thought they were kind of cool. So just wanted to show you that.